What's up guys, Fabulous here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some useful exploits and mobility rotations with the crash pad. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to export into the box. This is a tri t tip that most people know, but I'm just going to showcase it here. What you're going to want to do is run up to the person's box, maybe hit it once, and then you're gonna run up face first so that you're touching it. Just hold down W, hold down forward. You're gonna wanna aim the crash pad towards the top, like three quarters of the way up. You're gonna throw it and let it go. And just like that, you should be pro propelled into your opponent's box for an easy shot. So, um, I'm gonna box up again. And I'm gonna show you guys what to do and how to do it in another way. So guys, another way I'm gonna show you how you can get into someone's box is called the diagonal crash pad trick. But the diagonal crash pad trick works. You have to make a box diagonal to your opponent. What you're gonna wanna do is again, aim it up at this part of the box. And then you're gonna wanna let it go and jump all in and you should be right with the opponent. And finally guys, the last technique I'm gonna show you is how to get into their box from above. What you're gonna wanna do is place a stair. Then what you're gonna wanna do is aim it around the bottom of the stair and either you can jump or I've seen pros go over here to have a clean shot. Um, sorry, another thing I've seen pros do is they will come over here to the edge fix it right on the edge throw it down and they'll have a nice shot or they'll throw it down take the person's wall and you'll have nice piece control in here now guys the exact same thing can work with a cone what you're gonna want to do is just place the cone right here throw a crash pad right in that center but place and you should fall straight in So guys, now that I've shown you how to exploit, I'm gonna show you guys some of the best mobility ways and how to rotate with crash pads. First off, I'm gonna show you how to rotate just alone without any crash pads. You're gonna wanna do is put it just like here. Oh, sorry. Edit that, edit that, get on top of it. And so what you're gonna wanna do is take your crash pad, you're gonna wanna throw it over here and you will get propelled so far i was just propelled um whoops it's propelled, propelled about 41 meters another trick way you can do this guys is a little bit of an easier way put a ramp now with this guys you won't be propelled as far at maximum I think you won't get more and so this way is the perfect way remember if you place the floor here oh my god wrong thing oh my god <laughs> if you place the floor here that's what's gonna happen so make sure to only use a cone <laughs> so yep demonstration and for the final mobility trick I want to show you, it's um, it's over here. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to place now a bouncer on here. What you can do is you can throw the crash pad, and you'll be propelled. That was 44 meters. All right. Um, another thing you're you're gonna want to try to do is. Instead of putting, so for the same thing, instead of th turning this way and putting the crash pad, what you're gonna wanna do is look this way and throw the crash pad. Just up, hold down W, 
59 meters. Much better when you're looking the other way. The final one I want to show you guys. Um, I think I saw Era, uh, your fellow Arab, doing this once. Or uh, Reet, or I, I remember seeing one of the posts do this, where they would place it like that. And just throw the crash pad. And it's the best of both worlds, guys. Look at that. Oh. 74 meters. Clocking in with the highest crash pad rotation. 74 meters is kind of like half and half zone or a good moving zone. 74 is kind of like a shockwave. Let me see how far you can go with a shockwave. Just gonna spawn him in to just like show you guys perspective of how far that actually just went. So guys, as you can see, I have shockwaves. I'm gonna mark here. I'm gonna shockwave. I am only 51 meters away. I'm gonna mark here and shockwave again. Again, around 50 meters away. I'm gonna mark here and shockwave again. It's still 50. That crash pad exploit, I mean that crash pad of rotation was a darn good one. So, so to wrap it up guys, I showed you guys how to properly rotate with crash pads and how to exploit. Um, if you're ever in a stacked arena game or tournament, it would be good to use this, those techniques to either rotate or get in someone's box if you have no mats. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.